Trivia Schmodown fans! All right, we are here. Star Wars Celebration 2017. I'm here to introduce one of two hosts. You might know him, you might love him, and you can laugh at his occasional funny jokes. Baby carrots, baby carrots, Mark Ellis! Anybody excited to have a little bit of a schmo down here today? You know, maybe I'm getting old. My hearing isn't so good. Are you guys ready for the Star Wars movie trivia schmo down? Without further ado, I would like to introduce my partner in crime. You may know him as his Darth character, Mr. Harlov, the commissioner of the movie trivia schmodown, the one, the only, Mr. Christian Darth Harlov! What's up, guys? Let's get ready to do this. This is going to be cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, look, the Schmodown, as we know, we got a little bit of a WWE flavor to it. We got a little bit of, of competitive stuff. So we, we need you guys. You guys have been great already. When you see your, your favorite competitors, boost it up. Go bananas. Go crazy. The one thing that we will ask, though, is I know that everybody might know it's Star Wars, and we're working with the best here. I get it. <laughs> do not scream answers out. It'll ruin, it'll ruin it, it'll keep us here, and you might not be able to finish the match because we're gonna have to kind of keep going over. I hold it, you can cheer. If somebody misses it, you can go, oh, you suck, you should have known that. That's fine. <laughs> but we can't, but we, we just want to keep it. Yeah, right, Bespin, no Bespin answers. So, sorry, Roka. Uh, so that's it, but uh, look, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmoda. for the Star Wars Movie Trivia Championship. Introducing first, representing Collider, Jedi Council. You might know him as the legendary hit boss, Ken Nobson. Kenny's coming in hot, Mark. Kenny is coming in hot. Over here with me. He, this is you. Coming in hot. You look at Ken, he's ready to go. He is ready to go. Introducing next, representing Screen Junkies, Millennial Falcon. She is a newcomer. She is Jenny the Droid Nicholson. Newcomer here, you gotta give her a lot of credit for coming out, Mark. And coming out next, you might know him from the Inner Geekdom Championship, or Inner Geekdom, he is the number two ranked contender, the Joker, Jeremy Johns! Jeremy Johns is here, ready to go. Coming out next, you know him, you love him. He is the crazy Canadian, John Campio! Campio playing into the crowd, playing into the crowd, he's psyched up, he's ready to go. Campio chance of going wild in the audience. Look at it, all four. And their last competitor. You might know him, as Star Killer. You might know him as Darth Maul. We know him as the warrior, Sam Witwer. Winner of getting a big ovation here. The favorite here in the competition, Sam Witwer, coming to play. There is Sam Witwer, the warrior, making his another appearance here at the Schmodown. What? Big, big ovation. Finally! Everybody is ready to go. Look, this is for the Star Wars Movie Trivia Schmodown Championship. 
It's going to be three rounds. Mark, tell them how the rules work. Christian, uh, I'd like to point out those are authentic Star Wars Return of the Jedi bed sheets that Jeremy Yes, it is. <laughs> From when I was a kid. They're real. Your first round follows as thus. You guys will each get 12 questions to the field. They each correspond to either a Star Wars movie or a special category we drummed up just for this event. Each question is worth one point. Once we ask the question, all the competitors, please write down your answer on the whiteboard. And when we ask you to reveal it, please tell us into the microphone as you're showing your answer. And hold that up there for an extra second, just so all of our cameras can catch your adorable third grade handwriting. And, and Precious, that's your microphone. Oh, really? Yes. OK. Mama, I got a big mark. All right. Now, if, unless any of the competitors have anything to say, we're, we're good to go? Yeah, it's going to be nice to bust your mythology. Please. Yeah, no. Wait, sit. Uh, sit. All right. All right, before we, let's, before we you know what's stand, terrible you about this? You know what's terrible about this is that I'm alone here in your house, and you have your, your brother here. My force bro couldn't make it, as you guys know. You guys know my force bro. He couldn't, he couldn't be with us. Is that us. Mr. Michelle Geller? He, he couldn't be here. I just feel like if he was here, he would... He would, he would... Use the force, bro. Use the force. <laughs> All right, Freddie Prince. I'm turning off my it. targeting computer. All What's right. wrong? Nothing. I'm all right. All right, here we go. <laughs> so if, if you guys are ready, if you guys are ready, let's get ready to schmooze! All right, let's go. You have rules down right now? Yeah. All right, here we go. Round number one. We're going to start out here. You're going to have 15 seconds to answer. From the category of A New Hope, how many bolts from the training remote did Luke successfully deflect with his lightsaber donning a blast helmet? How about that one? I know the answer to it. Do you? Would you have gotten that one? Yeah. I'm very proud of you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And we're going to have a five, four, three, Two, one, let's start with Ken Knapsack. Ooh, I don't know, three? That's correct. Oh. Jenny. <laughs> Jenny? I put two. two. All right, Jenny missed that one. Jeremy? That'd be three. Ah, uh, Jeremy Johns. John Campia? That'd be three. John Campia gets it, and Sam? Three. There you go, all right. All right. Question number two in the category of Return of the Jedi. Who introduced himself to Jabba as a friend to Captain Solo? Do you have any friends? I, I like to think so. <laughs> we have a bunch of friends right here. Hey, friends on here. See, we got friends. Yeah, all right, all right. And five, four, three, two, one. Start with Jenny. Luke? That's correct. Yeah. Jeremy. <laughs> Luke. That's correct. John. Luke Skywalker. Correct. And Sam. Luke Skywalker. Correct, Ken. Oh, Luke Skywalker. That's correct. Look at that. The start here. I'll do this. I'll just, okay. Next category in the attack. In the attack. Next category, Attack of the Clones. <laughs> During the melee on Geonosis, who kills Django Fett? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. You guys groan all you want. Just don't say the answer. Wait, you groan. The, the question just changed. Five, four, three, two, one. Jeremy. Mace Windu. Correct. John. Mace Windu. Correct. Sam. Mace Windu. Uh, Ken. Mace Windu. Jenny. Mace Windu. There you go. All right. Look at this. Very close here. All three. Jenny's only down by one. Looking pretty good. OK, next category in the Phantom Menace. Who told Obi-Wan that he should be mindful of the future? Who told Obi-Wan, I know that character, uh, that he should be mindful of the future? He was old and he was young. I like what you do here. Yeah. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. John Campia. Yoda? That is correct. Oh. Sam. Master Yoda. That is correct. Ken. <laughs> I slipped. I said Qui-Gon Jinn. Oh, Ken missed. Ken missed. Jenny. I also put Qui-Gon Jinn. Oh, so Jenny misses. All right, Jeremy. Master Yoda said I should Oh, no, Jeremy gets it. Before. Jeremy gets it. So now Ken. Oh, look at that. OK. All right, here we go. Question number five in the category of The Force Awakens. 
What happens to Poe Dameron's X-Wing after he is taken from Jakku? What happens to that stinking ship? What? Is that another name? Taken from or to? What? What? Uh, you want to hear it again? Yeah. Right. What happens to Poe Dameron's X-Wing after he is taken from Jakku? Oh. I'm not going back to Jakku. Love that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Five. After he's taken from? Four. Three. Two. One. Sam. Blown up by stormtroopers, That's shot correct. and stuff. <gasps> Ken. Uh, destroyed by First Order stormtroopers. That is correct. Jenny. I thought it was taken into the bay by the First Order. Oh, I all right. Know. Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, like shot, blown up. Shot, blown up. We take it. Shot, blown up. We'll take that. Okay. And it kind of says blown up. Destroyed. Uh, destroyed. We'll take that. Okay. So there you go. All right. So look at that. Short. John's Campy and Whitwer have not missed yet. All right. Category of Revenge of the Sith. Who told Anakin that good is a point of view? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Five, four, oh, three, ah. two, one. Ken. Uh, Sheev Palpatine? Sheev Palpatine is correct. <laughs> Jenny. I put Sidious, different name. Oh, we'll give it to you, okay. absolutely. Jeremy. <laughs> I just put Palpatine. Yeah. Sheev. <laughs> Sheev. Sheev. Palpatine. Palpatine. And Sam. Palpatine. All right, there you go. All right. Yeah. All right, competitors. In a little film called The Empire Strikes Back. The movie is not here with us, but thank you. <laughs> what, according to Han Solo, was Leia afraid he would leave Hoth without giving her? Yeah, sure. All right, five, four. You're my favorite troll, by the way. Eight, two, <laughs> one. Jenny. A kiss goodbye. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah. We'll give you, okay. Uh, and Jeremy. Yeah, goodbye kiss. There you go. John. Goodbye kiss. Sam. Afraid he was going to leave without giving me a goodbye kiss. And Ken. I haven't had one in a while, but a goodbye kiss. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Your next question comes from Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And Sam, this one has come out in theaters already, Sam, so no complaints. Oh, that's about amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what peaceful lifestyle does Galen Erso lead while living on Lemieux? You ever been on Lemieux? <laughs> I've been on many Lemieux. I'm sure you have. Last night, I think. Is that a trash can? He's a nice guy. What do you want? All right, five, four, to three, to two, one. Jeremy. Poof. Just got the G, farming. Farming is, is correct. John. Farming. Correct. Sam. Farming. All right, really? Ken. <laughs> farming. Jenny. <laughs> Farmer, look, Farmer. once again, all right, doing well. There he goes. So we got <laughs> Sam, Campia, and Johns have not missed. Yeah. Your next question. In the Star Wars movie that probably grossed the least amount of dollars at the box office, uh -huh. The Clone Wars. In the Clone Wars film, who voices Anakin Skywalker? <laughs> Got it, Nicholson. Five, <laughs> four, <laughs> three, two, one. Markers down, John Campion. Oh, oh my God. Uh, Hayden Christensen. Oh, that wow. is incorrect, Sam Whitworth. Matt Lancer, good guy. Very good, one point. <laughs> Ken Napsok. Matt Lancer. Yeah. the man of point. <laughs> Jenny Nicholson. Anything. I have no idea. Jenny Nicholson passes. <laughs> Jeremy Johns? <laughs> Ellis drinks his own pee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you go. How do you think my skin Jeremy looks this good? <laughs> I watched that movie again for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> only you made Ken... me watch it for no reason. <laughs> me too. So only Ken and Sam got that one right, but so far, Whitmer is the only one who has not The voice the actor got it right. Your next category comes from the world of Star Wars heroes. What was Luke's two-word response when Leia complained that Han didn't care about anyone? I don't feel that way about you anymore. <laughs> well, I think you care about people now. <laughs> there was a point when I didn't? I yes. I don't like kids, oh, but we, adults. I didn't realize there were people here. You wrote yeah. something. He knows. Five, oh four, three, two, one. All right, Sam Whitworth. I care. Yes, he does. That's a point. Ken Knapsack. Oh. I care. 
That is a point. Jenny Nicholson. I have nothing. I just... <laughs> she doesn't care enough. I'm sorry. Jeremy Johns. Just in time. I care. Oh, good. I'm glad I didn't drink my own pee, that answer. John Campia. I care. Very good. Give the man a point. Oh. Two categories left, and Sam Witt, we're still pitching a perfect game, and now we come to a category he will probably love. This is the category of Star Wars villains. Ooh. Do not cheer for evil, class. <laughs> According to Luke Skywalker, what was the Emperor's weakness? According to Luke Skywalker, <laughs> what was the Emperor's weakness? And a gas a comes over the gasp, room. Yeah. I, I love the guy that did the San Dimas rules, except he said, evil rules. <laughs> Five. Hey, man, my dad was evil. Four, three, quiet, Luke. Two, one. Ken Knapsack. Overconfidence. That's a point. Jenny Nicholson. Overconfidence. That's another point. Jeremy Johns. One of my strengths, overconfidence. <laughs> John Campia. Overconfidence. And Sam Whitworth. His overconfidence. All right. Everybody gets a point across the board. We have one category left in round one. Sam Whitwer here is going for a perfect for round one if he gets this one correct. Smallest erasers. And your category comes from the world of Star Wars vehicles, weapons, and technology. Yeah. <laughs> Some tech fans in the crowd. <laughs> what are the wings on an X-Wing also called? What are the wings on an X-Wing also called the X-Wing, the Honda Civic of outer space. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Jenny Nicholson. I have nothing. <laughs> nothing is incorrect, Jeremy Johns. X-Foils? S-Foils is correct, give him the man yeah, a point. John Campia. S-Foils. One point for Campia, Sam Whitworth for a perfect game. S-Foils. Perfect, hey, perfect game. game. Ken Knapsack. Lock him in position, S4. Also a very good game. <laughs> All right, so at the end of, did you, Jenny, did you, you, you answer? Did you answer? No. Oh, sorry, Jenny, please. I mean, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, shit, okay. All right, so at the end of round one, we have Knapsack with 11, Nicholson six, John's 11, Campy 11, and your leader right. Quick time, quick time, quick time. What do you got? We're, we're short an eraser. We miss we're, we're missing oh. an eraser. All right, we'll get an eraser. And, get and right now, perfect game. Sam Whitworth with 12 points is your leader right now. Can we get, it? Can we get any erasers? All right, so round two, Mark, how does round two work? Please tell the competitors. Round two, you guys are gonna have a digital wheel, ladies and gentlemen, a digital wheel is gonna be up there. Each competitor gets a spin at the digital wheel. If you do not like the category that you spin, you are allowed a mulligan. Whatever category that lands on, you have to answer three questions from that Star Wars category. Each question in round two is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. Keep in mind, and this is something new we're doing just for you guys, there is stealing allowed in round two. If you miss your question, every other competitor can write down their answer on a whiteboard and then reveal it for the opportunity to steal points. All right, All right now, wow. Sam, you are, Sam, you're in the lead. Would you like to spin, have the wheel spun for you first, or do you, would you like to defer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Beyond Thunderdome fan. Let's spin Just the wheel. Let's do it. All right, let's give that wheel a spin and see what Sam's got. Spin it up. What an arm. I love it. There's a spin. That's, a, that's great. That was a good spin. That was a good spin. Uh, episode two, Attack of the Clones. Do you want to go for it, or you spin again? Sure. Going for it. it. All right. He's going for it. I mean, yes. All right. Now, remember, other competitors here, be ready to write down your answer if Sam misses, but I don't know if that's going to happen. All right, here we go. <laughs> Who, according to Lama Su, originally placed the order for the clone army? Who? Not what? Sifo Diaz. <laughs> uh, that's correct. That is correct. All right. Question number two out of three. Where does Jango Fett tell Obi-Wan he was recruited? By a man called Tyrannus on one of the moons of Bogdan. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Two points. <laughs> He's a Terminator. He's a Terminator. All right. Your last question in Attack of the Clones, Sam. Which dignitary is pleased to announce the start of executions in Geonosis? Oh, which dignitary? Yes, sir. 
Hog of the Lesser? That's correct for two yeah. points. All right, so Sam did not miss. He advances into the third round for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? You guys can all go home. I think Sam is <laughs> No. All right, uh, who's up next? It is gonna be John Campia. Uh, yeah. right. John Campia spinning next. Have a spin at the wheel, sir. Go ahead. Let's spin it. Spin it up. Look at that Canadian muscle. <laughs> That comes from chopping wood and fighting elks, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a, good one. oh, that's a real good one. Stay in John, are you still going again? Stay in or go? The Empire Strikes Back, would you like to stay or spin again? Probably my weakest in the original trilogy, but I'm going to stick with it. He's going to stick with it because the crowd would revolt if he went against it. Here is your first question, John. Who was Wedge Antilles' tail gunner during the Battle of Hoth? Jensen? Two points for John Campia. Oh, good job, Jensen. Two points. Your next question, John. Who switched off C-3PO when he suggested surrendering to the Empire? Leia. Two more points. John Campia playing, John Campia playing well. Last question for John. <laughs> what race of creatures Toss around C-3PO's head before being intercepted by Chewbacca. Oh, I, I have, I've never known the proper pronunciation of this. It's the Ugnaughts? Two points for John Campia. John Campia he picked the survived. right one. John Campia survived. All right, Jeremy Johns. Let's give a spin for Jeremy Johns. There we go. <laughs> and we will spin again if they land on something else. That, that wheel is good. I love it. I love that wheel. All right, here we go. Rogue One, Rogue One. You want to stay or? I'm spinning again. Spinning again, all right. Clone Wars, uh, Clone Wars. All right. <laughs> I think it's a smart play by Jeremy. It's like if you're not confident, you might as well try it, see what happens. He just went up against Campy and uh, Whitworth, who were great, in the, and we're landing on. Whoa. Weapons, vehicles, and technology. All right, that could have been good or bad, we'll I see. This could be a sneaky yeah. good category for Jeremy. We'll see, all right. All right, Jeremy, question one. Yeah, I blacked out for a second, what happened? All right. <laughs> what type of machines did Uncle Owen have installed on his farm, Southridge? Like moisture evaporators? It's incorrect. All right, so we're gonna give everybody a chance Sir, here. Sir, you repeat the question? What type of machines did Uncle Owen have installed on his farm, Southridge? All right. Come on, Whitworth. And, all right, so let's see. Everyone else has a chance to steal here. All right, Ken? I'm blanking. Is it regulators? It's incorrect. Yeah, Jenny? Yeah. I didn't put anything. Okay, John? <laughs> I froze. Sam? Condenser. That's correct. <laughs> Two points for Sam. Two more points for Sam Whitworth. That could be a game changer. It's certainly going to help him going into the last round. That was big. Yeah. That was big. Yeah. All right. The machines have risen, they've become self-aware, and they're sitting <laughs> to the left of the table. It's fantastic. All right. <laughs> All right. What vehicles are equipped with harpoons and tow cables? Snow speeders. That's correct for two points. All right. That helped. Thank you. All right, Jeremy. The number 326-3827 corresponds to what in Star Wars? Trash compactor. That's correct. That's it. All right. So Jeremy's done now. Yeah. Nice comeback pitch there, Jeremy. And now we go on to a man who does get a lot of goodbye kisses, but he gets a lot of answers right. Ken Knapsack, you're round two. Spin the wheel, good sir. Spin the deal, make the wheel. Make the wheel spin. No Backwards. whammies. Strike it, reverse it. Empire's off the board. Empire's off the board. That could be tough for Kenny. No, that's off the board right now. That's off the board. Spin it again, Ken. We're going to spin, spin it, it seven again. times. Weapons, yeah. episode five, and um, Attack of the Clones are off the board. Ooh, a Episode. new hope! Oh, man. Yeah, I've seen it. He's gonna go with a new hope. Can we just give him the six points? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I'm slipping today, John. Come on. <laughs> All right, Ken. Your first question in Star Wars A New Hope Who was the first one to jump down the Death Star's garbage chute? You can just tell us. Can oh, just sorry. Tell us. Yeah, I, I like writing yeah. things. Uh, it was uh, Princess Leia. Right. Two, points. two points. Get in the garbage chute, fly boys. He gets himself the third two points. He needs these two points. He needs the next four. All right, Ken. Your next question. Uncle Owen is looking to purchase a droid from the Jawas that speaks what language? Well, uh, bocce. Two more points for All Ken right. Knapsack. 
All right. What did Han say to the cantina bartender after blasting Greedo, and he did shoot first in A New Hope? In either version. Sorry about the mess. Two right. points for Ken Napsok. That was a huge okay. round for him. Okay. Because now both Campy and Napsok are only three behind Whitbury. Now Jenny Nicholson needs to get these six oh. points to catch up. So let's see, Jenny, oh you are up. Okay. Here's the spin. <laughs> oh. Heroes. Do you, do you want to keep heroes or? I'm going to respin. You're going to respin. All right. <laughs> there we go. There's a spin. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> if it lands on episode five, I'm leaving. Yeah. And we're gonna land on one more spin. We did okay. that one. That's the problem with all these uh, categories here taken. Uh, and Rogue One on the corner of Rogue. Is that on the corner of Rogue One? It's Rogue One. <laughs> Rogue One. It was a bone flash. All right, Rogue One. All right, let's oh. get to Rogue One. All right, here we go. Rogue One, Jenny, here we go. Okay. What is the code name for the Death Star plans? What is the code name oh. for the Death Star plans? Um, Starlight. Ooh, that's incorrect. Oh. All right, so oh. Ken, you got a chance to steal two points. Oh. My little Stardust. That's Starlight. correct, Jeremy. <laughs> Stardust. That's correct. Oh. Stardust. Sam. Stardust, I know because it's me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> two more points. All right. Close. Question two. Okay. Got it, Jenny. Before being rescued by the rebellion, Jin Erso had been using what alias? Ooh. You can opt for multiple choice to get one point if you like. I'll go multiple choice. All right. Is it A. Liana Halleck, B. Ora Singh, C. Ala Sakura, D. Mara Jade? No. <laughs> um, well, can I hear the first two? Again? Absolutely. Liana Halleck. Aura Singh. I'm gonna go A. That's correct for okay. one point. <laughs> All right. Okay, your last question, Jenny, in the category of Rogue One. Okay. Cassian Andor is an officer in what division of the Rebel Alliance? Huh. I'll go multiple choice again. Okay. <laughs> A, reconnaissance. B, special forces. C, black ops. D, intelligence. Oh, geez. Intelligence? That's correct okay. for one point. That was good. <laughs> Played smart and got herself into the third round. All right, so now, Mark, tell me how the third round works. This is the championship round here. We're going to find out who our winner is by the end. And before we do, I want to give a big shout out to Chris Kaliski, who's the writer of all these questions. He's our writer on the Schmodown. Big shout out to Chris Kaliski. All right. All right, Mark, tell him how round three works. In round three, each competitor is going to give us here at the podium three numbers ranging from one to 19. Each one of those numbers will correspond to a category we have up here. You're going to get three questions total. One question is worth two points. Next question is worth three points. The last question is worth five points. Sam Whitwer, you are in the lead. You get your first pick at the three numbers. Eleven, three, eight. Left. Oh, I thought he was going to go all odds. All right. What was that? So it's a big three numbers, right? Yep. Three you nailed it. You nailed it. Now that would be... It's all right, right? 11, Campia. 3, John 8? Campia. John right. Campia, what numbers would you like? Uh, I'll go with uh, 12, 4, and 9. You 12, did that to spite me. And nine. <laughs> we are... Uh, <sighs> we moved to Ken Knapsack. I'm going to go 2 for Derek Jeter. <laughs> Um, go seven for Mickey Mantle. Neither are Star Wars characters. <laughs> uh, 15. Thurman Munson, right? Someone help me. Right. Yeah. Thurman Munson yeah. was number 15. Right. We move on to Jeremy Johns. What numbers do you have? Uh, 16, 18, and every other good one's been taken, right? Um, five? Has that been taken? Five has not been taken. We'll okay, now we move to Jenny Nicholson. You have the hardest job here oh. because you have to guess three numbers that have not been right, picked what's yet. what's left? So my range is up to 20, right? One to 19. One to 19. Um, I'll take 19. Okay. Uh, 13. Okay. And six. <laughs> Roger that. All right. All right. All right, we're going to start with Jenny. Yeah. All right, okay. so Jenny's going to get her through. Jenny needs to hit all three oh. of these. Um, all right, here we go. Okay, so number 
19. 19. Okay. Here we go. Jenny, for two points. Okay. In the category of, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Who said this famous line in episode seven, The Force Awakens? I've got a fit. No, this is all, that's what this is. Sorry. So I, have, I didn't realize, I didn't know what this category was. So this is just, I have a bad feeling about this. Someone said it. Who said this famous line in episode seven, The Force Awakens? I think it was Han Solo in that movie. That's correct for two points. All right, we'll check on this one. Good job. Thank you. It is. All right, Jenny, it's back to you here. Number 13, which was planets. What does Cloud City mine in The Empire Strikes Back? What does Cloud City mine? Does it mine? Yeah, what do they mine? Oh. What does Cloud City mine? I don't know. That would be <laughs> Tabana gas. What? Okay. Gas. Okay, your your final. Okay. Is your five points? Okay, so that would be number six. six. Number six. Okay. All right. Your last question, Jenny. Category number six. You okay. chose Attack of the Clones. Okay. Your five point. <laughs> what was the name of the decoy that was killed in the first assassination attempt we see on Senator <gasps> Amidala? Like the actress? Uh, the character's <laughs> the name. The character's yeah. name. I don't know. I have no idea. Looking for Corday. But with that, I'd like yeah, to no. please, Jenny Nicholson has been eliminated. But what a game. For Jenny Nicholson, check her out. Screen Junkies on Millennial Falcon. All right. Hey, let me, let me just say this. It is hard enough to do a schmodown for your first time in the studio. Yeah. She did a schmodown for the I'm first shaking. time in front of 600 doing? people. That's pretty awesome. Jeremy Johns, it's time to drink your own pee. Are you ready? <laughs> your first category is the Phantom Menace. And for two points, your question is, what caused Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon to ignite their lightsabers on the Trade Federation ship at the beginning of the film? They heard their ship explode. You're damn right they did, and that's yeah, two, yeah, points. Yeah. <laughs> right, two points. Not Darth Maul. Jeremy is now tied up. <laughs> Three-way tie for second place, but Jeremy has a chance to advance with this three-point question that comes from the world of creatures. No, no, no. What did Luke use to bullseye in his T-16 back home? Bomb rats. That there weren't all right. any bigger than yeah. two meters. Yes, you did. 22 points. Jeremy Johns is now tied with Sam Whitworth. So now we jump to John Campion. John Campion, oh! to administer your questions, will be Christian Harloff. <laughs> all right, John. All right. You chose 12, 4, and 9. All right. For category 12, that would be the category of A New Hope. What one word did the officer in the Death Star's detention center use when referring to Chewbacca? Thing. Correct, for two points. All right, Jeremy. I mean, Campy is still behind Whitwer and Johns, though, so he now has to answer his three-pointer, which is Does Ken a knapsack go next? No, because you are... I'm ahead of knapsack. Oh, you're ahead of knapsack. Oh, yes. you're absolutely correct. All right, Ken's up. Sorry. Thanks, John. Thanks, now. John. <laughs> All, right. All right, Kenny Boy, your first category comes from the number two, Derek Jeter, number two. Your number two point question is from the world of villains. Speaking of Derek Jeter. Um, oh. <laughs> All right, so next. <laughs> For two points, Ken, in The Force Awakens, what does the riot control stormtrooper say to Finn when he confronts him? Traitor! Two, Two points. points for Ken Knapsack. I'm going to keep now going with Ken. we bounce back to John. Back to John. All right, so now we bounce back to John Campio with category number four, which is in the category of Rogue One. Three-pointer. Cassian tells Jin that Chirrut and Baze used to be what? Guardians of the Wills? That's correct, for three points. All right, so John now. John has now taken the lead. And we now go Whoa, to... Say that again, say that again. You have taken the lead. Take it easy. Sam hasn't answered anything. Uh, uh, we've run out of time, everybody. Thank you for coming. <laughs> now we bounce back to Jeremy Johns. What? <laughs> yeah, he's got 21. I thought I was done. Yeah. I, I lost I count. I the board. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's over there. Look at that. All right. We're just one big happy family up here, aren't we? <laughs> Ken, your three-point question comes from a movie called The Force Awakens. 
Who physically injures Kylo Ren before he confronts Finn and Rey in the snowy forest? Wait, can you say that again? Yeah. Who physically injures Kylo Ren before he confronts Finn and Rey in the snowy forest? I, I'm not hearing, sorry. I'll use all my repeats. I'm not, Last one. Okay. The JT rule, the okay. famed Last Ecuadorian one. film reviewer. Who physically injures Kylo Ren gotcha. before he confronts Finn and Rey gotcha. in the snowy forest? The, the mighty Chewbacca. Yeah. Right. Three points. I, uh, I just want to point out, I, I feel your pain because I heard the first time I heard, yeah. who physically enters yeah, Kylo like that. Ren? <laughs> that's what I heard too. And, and that's not cool because like, this is a family um, show. Huh? It's not cool. Here, you know what? All right, Not Jeremy Johns, cool. you're going to be physically entered next. Yeah. <laughs> there are kids in the audience. Hey, they got to learn about it sometime. All it was, right. It was an emotionally, answer. emotionally. Come on, yeah. come on. I love that Ken didn't roll with it. He's like, you're going to have to repeat yourself. This <laughs> must be wrong. This is Jeremy's, this is Jeremy's five point, right? Jeremy's five pointer. Oh, right. here we go. Five pointer in order to stay in the game. Jeremy, okay. your five point question. To stay in the game and to keep control of your Star Wars bed sheets. In the category of droids. Droids. In The Phantom Menace, what protocol droid attends to Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan on the Trade Federation ship? TC-14. With a female force, wow. whoa! Five points for John! Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Damn! Big, big win, that was nice. All right, well now, now the Terminator is up. Uh, Sam Witwer is up at category number 11 here. Okay. No way. Who's who's getting the next question? Sam. Oh, Sam. Sam's the, yeah. Sam's the, so Sam, in the category of the Clone Wars. <laughs> Nate. No, it's no. It's two points for Sam. He hasn't answered anything two yet. Points. All right. So, name Count Dooku's apprentice in the Clone Wars. Asajj Ventress. Two points. The two pointers here are the easier ones. <laughs> All right, so there, okay, so now we have, now a three-way tie here between Whitwer, Campia, and Napsok. We're gonna stay with Sam, and we will now give Sam his three-pointer, which is category number three, and that would be the category of the Skywalkers. Yeah. Ray. How did, uh, that's good. It's not Ray, it's Snoke. All right, Sam. How did Luke Skywalker address the Emperor when they first met? How did Luke Skywalker address the Emperor when they first met? For three, for three points. You're sadly mistaken. You won't convert me as you did my father. Oh that, my God. That, that's, in, that's your answer? That's incorrect. Oh God. That's incorrect. The answer, the answer, oh. was, the answer was your highness. He bleeds. Your highness. The Russians cut, what, and it's a bad it? cut. What was the? What was it? Your, your Highness. Your Highness. Your right. Highness. Wow. Okay. So Sam Witwer needs to hit oh. this, or he will be eliminated. Oh. It is from oh. from the category of who said it in the Empire Strikes Back. Who barked the order? Shields up just before the Falcon buzzed the Star Destroyer's bridge. Uh, is the name of the character? Name of the character. Five, four, three, two, one. I need an answer. Oh, God. Three, Apolo two. Apology accepted. Uh, one. T Captain Niet. No. Oh, Sam Witwer has been eliminated. <laughs> the answer was Captain Nita. Sam Witwer has been eliminated. Oh. Holy crap. Tyson oh. goes down. Oh. Tyson goes down. Oh. All right, so now it is a three. It is, we have Jeremy Johns oh. here has a chance to win this how if much of a beast and, and Nassau do not hit. Seriously, how much of a beast is Sam Witwer? The beast. So both Ken and Jer uh, Ken and John both have five pointers left. Ken will answer first. If Ken hits it, then Jeremy will be eliminated. If not, it'll be between Johns and Campion. 
No pressure whatsoever, Ken. Ken. Hi. You look great. Ken, you your five bed point question comes from the category okay. of vehicles and weapons. Yeah! You got this, Ken. What Star Destroyer was pursuing Han when the Falcon lost its main rear deflector shield in The Empire Strikes Back? That would be the Avenger? Yes, sir. Jeremy Johns has been eliminated! <laughs> Ken Knapsack hits his five-pointer. So now it comes down to John Campia's five-point question. If he hits it, it's sudden death. If he misses it, Ken Knapsack is the Star Wars champion. So we could go into a sudden death here, depending on John Campia. <laughs> Okay, first of all, you guys having a good time? Yeah! How great is this? <laughs> oh, I'm not all right, John. The drama! Your question is from a little film called Return of the Jedi. Oh, and your five-point question is, where on Tatooine is the Sarlacc located? Not on the planet. Not on the planet. Sure. Not, yeah, I know. But some people are like, oh, oh, oh. Sorry, can, can you repeat that one more time? Where on Tatooine is the Sarlacc located? The pit of Carcoon. Yeah. What, yeah. Sudden death! Yeah. Sudden death! The council is going for the title together. Yeah. Campion versus Knapsack, sudden death. So here's how sudden death's gonna work. They're gonna use the whiteboards. The first person that misses loses. So here we go. You got it, Ken. All right. Sorry, we're doing whiteboarding for this? Whiteboarding, yeah. What's we're that? Wi we're whiteboarding for this? Whiteboard. Whiteboard. Here we go. I'm shaking. Okay. <laughs> here we go, guys. So on which planet does Leia tell Tarkin the rebel base is located? You want a longer round? <laughs> Five, four, Three, two, one. Uh, John. Dantooine? That's correct. Ken. Dantooine. They're on There we Dantooine. go. We're still alive. All right. In Return of the Jedi, who ensnared Luke Skywalker with a powered cable? Pit boss. Can you, can you repeat the question? In Return of the Jedi, who ensnared Luke Skywalker with a powered cable? Oh, Ken, okay, it's Boba Fett. That's correct, Campion. It's Boba Fett. There we go, still going on. <laughs> Your next question, gentlemen. Who dispatched Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon to settle the conflict on Naboo? Five, four, three, two, one. John Campion. Chancellor Valorum. Ken. Chancellor Valorum. Oh, we keep yeah. going. We keep going. Where did Darth Sidious order Grievous to hide the Separatist leaders? Five, We're gonna be here for a very long four, time. Four, three, two, one. Ken. Mustafar. Correct, John. Mustafar. So there we go. All right. All right. All right. At some point, do we call it a tie? Nope. <laughs> the Clone Wars film. I just jinked myself. You did. Ah. In the Clone Wars film, who voiced Obi-Wan Kenobi? Oh, my God. Five, four, three, two, one, and John Campion. Uh, Steven Stanton? And Ken? James Arnold Taylor. And your winner! And new Star Wars movie trivia champion, the Pit Boss, Ken! Napsock! Napsock does it! Napsock does it. He was my favorite all along, and he paid off here today. Whitwer was perfect for the first two stealing stuff, and he just missed by the end. Oh my God, that was incredible. How about it, guys? What'd you think? Unbelievable. Give it up for these guys. Oh man. I mean, that was something I got to talk to the reigning Star Wars champion real quick. Ken, how you feeling? Uh, unbelievable. These are, these are four great Star Wars voices in our community. Please give a hand for all of them again. Jenny, Jeremy, John, Sam, who's amazing. 
Uh, well, that's too good for a I, I, when, when I missed Yoda and condensers, I thought it was done. So that's it. Everything else is gravy. All right, I'm going to talk to Jenny Nicholson. Jenny, you had a great show. Look, first time out at Schmodown, John was absolutely right. You come in here in front of this great crowd here, too. Yeah. Give it up for Jenny Nicholson, man. How are you feeling, and what were your overall thoughts? Um, it went about the way I expected it to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, cool. So, guys, make sure you check out, again, Screen Junkies, Millennial Falcon. Check it out. With week two, week three, you guys are in out now, right? Uh, week three. Week three. So check that out on uh, Screen Junkies. All right. Very check, funny show. Check Jeremy it out. Johns. Yeah. Man, you were close. Almost Woo! can knock you out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's, I think, did I miss two? I think so, man. You were pretty good. You were almost there. You were pretty good. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, though. You guys brought the energy. We fed on it. We all had a good time. You guys. John Campia, one question away in sudden death from being the champ, and you lose to your team partner, though. What a battle. Uh, look, he was absolutely uh, just a beast. Everybody up here was a beast, and like the uh, the audience was amazing. It was fantastic. Good. What was that? Round four of a sudden death. So couldn't ask for anything better. It was great having everybody up here, including this man right here. Speaking to this man right here, the warrior, Sam Whitworth. <laughs> Sam, I mean, dude, you looked like the Terminator. You looked like Tyson in '86, and then I was surprised the Emperor won, the Highness won. What happened? You blanked a little bit. All uh, right. It's what happens when you talk all day, Sonny. <laughs> I get it. You know, it, 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 you know look, I, I know that he hasn't had any sleep either, so we're all, we're all there. pretty tired, yeah. Well, I'm going to definitely be bothering him to see, once, I get, once again, Sam Witwer back in the ring, whether it's Star Wars or it's Star Trek, whatever it is. Sam Witwer, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. And one more time, you guys, thank you for watching the movie trivia showdown Star Wars for Mark Ellis, myself, the whole Collider crew. You guys are the best. Thank you. And watch the free-for-all. It's up today. Watch it. Hey, guys, if you like this video, click the thumb.